Welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. In this video, we will create a composite image and turn this shot into this one. All the files needed for this image can be found in the description of the video if you want to follow along this tutorial. And now, without much more talking, let's go. So here we are in the camera raw editor with the base image opened up. The conditions were not good and the original image wouldn't make a good shot on its own. That's why I decided to create a Milky Way composite image. To start this, I am going to change the profile to Adobe Standard first, just to get a more flat foreground. Then let's head into the basic tab. Here I do want to first drop the shadows very slightly. And then I'm going to bring up the highlights all the way. And this will just give Photoshop an easier time later when I'm doing the sky replacement. Next, I'm further bringing up the contrast which will also help with the sky replacement later. Just like that maybe. And then let's bring up the whites. And also let's bring up the blacks. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I don't want to have too much details in the darkest areas in the foreground since we are going to turn this into a nighttime shot. And of course, during the nighttime, we don't get to see much detail. Also, during nighttime, the colors are way less saturated, so let's bring down the vibrance. I think that's looking good at this point. So next up, I do want to add a little bit of masking. Uh, I want to start with a linear gradient just for the near foreground like that. And anyhow, I'm going to drop the exposure. We don't need that much brightness in here. And this will just make it look a little more natural later. Then I guess I want to change the whole landscape in the foreground. Therefore, let's create the sky selection. And to select the landscape, I'm simply inverting that mask. Here, let's bring down the temperature to give the landscape a colder color tone. Just to make it look a little more nighttime-ish. And I'm also going to further bring down the saturation. Okay, maybe I can bring up the black some more and add some more contrast as well. Perfect. And finally, I'd like to add one more linear gradient for the very near foreground. And again, I do want to bring down the exposure and maybe even add some texture and some clarity. Okay, looking good so far. Let's continue by applying some split toning. Here I mainly want to work on the shadows and the midtones, and for both of them, of course, for a nighttime shot, we need a cold color tone in here. So let's go with something like this and bring up the saturation. All right, and let's do the same for the midtones. And again, raise the saturation. Okay, I guess that's looking good. Um, finally, I guess we could sharpen this image a little bit. I don't want to overdo it, just add some sharpening here. And here we have the raw adjustments for this composite image. So let's open up this file in Photoshop. So the next step is pretty easy thanks to Photoshop Sky Replacement. For that, let's head into the Edit menu and here just choose Sky Replacement. You can see I already have placed a Milky Way Sky in here. We can drag it around a little bit. I just want to bring it down so we can see more of the Milky Way. Just like that. At this point, I really don't like the color of the sky. So here I'm going to drop the temperature and just introduce some more blue tones. I do want to drop it quite a bit. Okay. At the same time, I do want to bring up the brightness. And maybe let's play around with the color adjustments as well. And let's see what we can do with the lighting adjustments. So I guess that's looking good. In that case, let's hit OK. Photoshop has neatly placed all those needed files into a single folder right here. You can deactivate it to get to the original image. So I'm pretty happy with how things are working out for this shot. So next up, let's make those two images blend a little better together. I am going to start by adding a curves adjustment layer just above the original image. Here, let's head into the blue channel. 
and just introduce some more blue tones by bringing that point a little more to the left. That's obviously way too much, but I think that's a good spot right here. And then I do want to kind of add some light pollution just above the horizon, which will usually help blending images together pretty nicely. For that reason, let's create a new layer. And then I am going to select the original image down here, go to select and say sky. With that selection active, I'm going on to our new layer and hit the layer mask icon. So once I paint in on this layer, only the sky area will be affected. So let's switch the blending mode of this layer to hard light, grab the brush tool, set the foreground color to white. Actually, maybe let's give it a warm color tone, a very, very desaturated orange tone like this. And I'm also bringing down the brush opacity. And now I'm just starting to paint slightly above the horizon to kind of add this light pollution effect. And I'm making it brighter as I get closer towards the horizon. I think that looks pretty good. Then let's add another layer, this time with the soft light blending mode and with the same foreground color. I am just going to brush in some subtle glow overlapping the tree and the horizon. Perfect. Then I do want to darken the very near foreground somewhere. Here we can use another layer with the overlay blending mode. And as the foreground color for the brush, we are choosing black, of course, since we want to darken this part. And then I'm lowering the opacity back further and just brush carefully over the foreground here. That looks really, really good. All right, then let's see what we can do next. I'm pretty happy with how those images blend together and I don't think I want to change the sky anymore. So I'm going to merge everything, which admittedly is very deconstructive, but since I know what I want to do further on, I think I'm safe with this. Now with that merge layer, let's head into the filter menu and go to the Nick Collection plugin right here. On the right side, you can see I already have set up some filters, mainly the Brilliance Warmth effect, just to give the whole image some more coldness, which I prefer for those nighttime shots. And in addition, I also added the classical soft focus to add some dreamy look to this Milky Way composite. You can see I'm using the first soft focus method and just adjusted the strength a little bit. I actually could bring it down a little more. All right, so let's apply it like that. At this point, I think I might need to brighten up the shot slightly. So let's just try a levels adjustment layer and bring that point for the highlights a little further to the left. And since we end up with overexposure in the center, I'm going to use the black brush again. And I'm just painting on the layer mask of that levels adjustment layer to get rid of the overexposure here. So that's pretty good. Then we can see there are some yellow flowers shining through in the foreground. Let's also get rid of them. Therefore, I'm using a hue saturation adjustment layer. Here, I'm going into the yellow tab and just bring down the saturation all the way, which nicely fixes the problem. So next up, I'm thinking about adding a little layer of fog in the distance. So let's create a new layer and switch the blending mode to soft light grab the brush tool. Here I'm actually using a fog brush. I'm looking for a rather thin one like this. And of course we need to change the foreground color. Um, I don't want to go with pure white because that would be too much. Somewhere in the darker gray area, maybe like this. Let's give it a try. And I'm just trying to paint in a little fog on the horizon level. At the moment, this looks a bit weird, but we can enhance that by applying some motion blur. So let's go to filter, blur, motion blur. And I'm increasing the strength here quite a bit, just like that maybe. And then I'm going to paint over another layer. Maybe make the fog a little brighter. And again, use the motion blur to make this effect a little better. 
Okay, I think I'm going to try the same thing using a normal layer. So again, just painting in a little fog here and there. And again, use the motion blur to give this a more realistic look. Okay, I am going to group them up in a folder. So I'm selecting both those fog layers and hit the folder icon. And on this folder, I'm applying a layer mask. Again, grab the brush tool. I just need to reset the brush. And here I'm going to, of course, get rid of the fog overlaying the trees because we want to look, make it look natural. All right, I think it's looking pretty good. And let's play around with the vibrance. Therefore, I'm going to use a vibrance adjustment layer and just bring up the vibrance. And thus I'm introducing kind of some more stronger blue color tones to this image, which I really like. Okay, next up, I don't like the dark spot right here on the tree. For this reason, I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And on this layer mask, I am going to use the TK panel plugin. And let's see, I'm trying to target this very dark spot. So I'm using a dark mask. This one is actually looking pretty good. So let's apply it as a layer mask. And then I'm bringing up the brightness. And thus we can reveal a little more detail, but not too much. So it doesn't look too underexposed in here. Perfect. Then let's see. I think I want to make this guy a little more interesting. So again, new layer. This time I'm going with the hard light blending mode. Grab the brush again, set the foreground color to white and bring down the brush opacity. And then I'm just starting with a very small brush over a very bright star and just brush in once, increase the brush size, brush in again, increase the brush size again, and so on. And thus I'm just adding a little glow around the brightest stars. Just like that. Looks pretty cool. And I'm continuing this on a few different stars throughout the sky. Of course, I can also play around with the colors a little bit. Maybe I can introduce some more blue tint to that. Let's give it a try. Up here is a colder star. So let's apply it on here. Still not enough color, so let's increase the saturation. Okay, I don't want to overdo it. So let's stop at this point with adding that glow effect. Finally, we can make the Milky Way core a little brighter by adding a new layer and again, use the overlay blending mode. So I just want to make the stars brighter. That means I can use a luminosity mask for the lights. Uh, maybe like lights too, looks pretty good. You can see how we nicely can target just the stars. And let's apply it as a layer mask. Then just with a white brush and a low brush opacity, I'm going to paint over the stars. And thus we're just making them a little brighter. Perfect. And at this point, we are done with creating this Milky Way composite image. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions about the editing, feel free to ask me in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.